guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be me trying the Michelob Ultra uh, Infusions beer and the Organic Light Lager. So I'm going to be trying those three kinds, which I'm going to be reviewing them from their presentation, from how they look when you pour it into the cup, and lastly, how they taste. So that being said, let's get started. So these are the three beers that I will be reviewing today. I'm actually a fan of McLove. I drank their Ultra, the actual regular kind. I like it. I did not want to review that one just because I feel like a lot of people have already, you know, tasted it, know what, they already know what to expect with that beer. But since they already came out with like new, diff, like well, different kinds, which is so far these right here. Um, I wanted to go ahead and try them out and review. The first one that I'm going to be trying is this one. It's actually called Infusions and it says infused with real exotic fruit and the flavor is lime and prickly pear cactus. Can you drink cactus? Is it like, what? Um, it says it has a 4.0 alcohol, a volume, and it's 95 calories, so you might want to drink this if you're on a diet. But this is how it looks. Um, to me, it reminds me of green tea. When I first saw it, I thought it had something to do with green tea, but I guess not. I mean, it's very greeny, so it's, um, you know, you're probably going to get like a citrus, kind of like limey, limey. Like a lime flavor to it but yes that being said um it does remind me a lot of green tea but you know what enough of that let me just go ahead and open this and start drinking this baby i don't have a fancy bottle opener i have this but i promise next video i'll have a fancy one Let's see. all right oh it smells like a beer Let's see. So it has a lot of foam, which is good. It's very pale-ish and it smells like a beer and like a beer mixed with lime. It really does. Okay, well let's taste it, see how it tastes. I like it. I really do. Very light. From the moment that I put it in my mouth to the mo to after I swallowed it, it's very light. You don't really feel it at all. Similar to what the Michelob Ultra um, tastes like, but the aftertaste is not bad either because there's some beers that you drink it and it's like the taste is like right there. On your, it stays in your throat. This one doesn't. Like it's very light and I like it. So far, I'm liking this. Okay, so moving on to the next beer is this one. It's also an infusions, and it's Pomer Pomer Green it or Pomeranian, whatever. <laughs> and I got the presentation is very. Um, it's red. When I first saw it, I thought it had something to do with strawberry, but I guess not. But same thing, 4.0 alcohol, 95 calories, and yeah. So let's open this baby up. I just love how that little whatever it is inside the bottle just comes out and it's like, it looks like smoke. I like that. I really do. Well, the same as the other one. It's yellowish, like a kind of hellish yellow. It has a lot of foam to it. And it smells like fruity. So maybe this one's gonna taste more like fruit like than the other one but I don't know let's try it the I didn't like this one light beer and then the like the aftertaste is very um fruity and I don't like that mixture I don't like fruity with a lager i don't like that taste so the last one that i will be trying today is this one it's the Michelob ultra pure gold organic light lager 
Um, when I picked these up, I honestly thought they were all like different flavors, but the, the first two that I tasted are infusions and this one is like just a light lager. No fruity or anything, it's just supposed to be like more lighter than the actual Michelob Ultra. And um, I'm like, man, screw it, I'm just gonna try it, I'm gonna review it. Um, this one looks very fancy, to be honest. It makes me want to lift my little pinky up when I drink this because it looks really fancy. I mean, it looks really nice. I don't even want to open this bottle because it looks nice. Like, you see how goldish it is and, like, yellowish? Like, I like it. But anyways, let's open this puppy up and let's taste it and see if we like it. Oops. All right. It has a bunch of bubbles and it looks like it's soap. Oh, look at these. They look like they're going into patterns. Anyways, let's So the color of this one is more, a little bit more yellowish than the other two. Um, it, so that means it's going to be stronger and the bubbles are like, the foam is very thick. So that means it's, yeah, it's it's probably going to be stronger than the other two. And um, it smells like a beer, like it smells like a lager. It actually reminds me of the Michelob Ultra. It smells just like it. Like the blue one, it smells just like it. So let's see. Um, I really did not like this one. I feel like with this one, I went and I got a handful of wheats. Mix it in with water and smashed it and called it a lager. I like it. Um, it's too light. Before I swallowed it, um, it tasted, I thought it was going to be a little bit strong, but once I swallowed it, it wasn't. It's like super light and you don't have, there's no taste whatsoever. It's not enjoyable. I just feel like, like I said, I'm drinking what we mix with water and that's it i'm calling it a lager that that's how i feel like i'm drinking this like i, I, I don't like it now time to rank the beers i'm gonna be ranking them from three to one three being the best and one being the worst so for me my favorite one would have to be this one this one is the infusions lime and prickly pear cactus i did not know you can drink cactus someone correct me if it's not real cactus but I liked it. I felt like it was a very, um, very light flavor. Um, it has, a, well, not super light, but it has a little bit of strong lager taste, something that I do enjoy. I like it. And, you know, from the moment I tried it, from the moment that I um, drank it, it was good, to the moment that I swallowed it, it was good. The aftertaste was not bad whatsoever. It wasn't strong. It wasn't lingering in my throat, but I liked it. To me, it's my favorite one out of these three. So this one has to be a number three. And one that I liked, and I say second just because I had to choose it. It's not so much of my favorite, but it wasn't as bad as the first one. Um, would have to be this one, the infusions, the pomegranate and agave, or pomeranian, whatever you want to call it. Um, the reason why I say it's number two, um, just because it's strong, but at the same time, it's sweet. My personal opinion, I do not like those. I, I don't like my beer to be like that. If it's going to be strong and sour, I like it to be strong and sour. I don't like it to be mixed with uh, sweet stuff just because I don't like the taste of it. I feel like it will stay and linger in my throat for a long time and I don't like that. So um, that being said, this one would be. So I didn't like it. It's not my favorite one. I mean, it's pure gold. It's organic or whatever. I mean, the bottle looks fancy. Like I said, it looks very fancy, but I did not like it. It's not my favorite. So there you go guys, that wraps it up. I ranked these three beers from the best to the worst. So I hope you liked this video and if you think this video helped you on deciding if you want to taste these beers or not, don't forget to do a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos of me trying new or other beers, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time guys, bye.